This right here is the Mona Lisa, a famous painting you probably have heard of at some point in your entire life, be it at the dinner table, school, for a history lesson of sorts, or even by pure circumstance. Also, I lied, this isn't actually the real Mona Lisa, this is just a PNG image I just animated to make it look cool for today's history lesson, but you can visit the Lord Museum in France to kind of see the full painting itself. But of course, you may be thinking, that's a cool painting, bro, given how iconic the painting itself is. I mean, when you analyze it from an art historian standpoint, you start to notice that the colors are muted, they feel kind of off for a portrait of a nice, beautiful woman of the Renaissance period at the time, it feels so sad sad and melancholy the more you look at how sad or indifferent her face is and all of these intricate techniques and styles that are often utilized in many artworks at the time you truly see the fine details of this artwork but at the same time why do we even care about this painting in the first place? But hey, see listen, this is where I come in to kind of answer that question. But of course, in order to answer that question, we first obviously have to provide some historical context to this. So the Mona Lisa, for those that don't know, is actually a painting that was done by Leonardo da Vinci, somewhere around sort of his later years until his death in 1519. It was made somewhere between 1503 and 1506 in Florence, Italy, and da Vinci decided that hey, to kind of finalize his career, he figured why not make an oil painting portrait of some beautiful woman that he met on the street or some do say in terms of historical analysis that it was actually a commission done by an Italian aristocrat at the time and thus essentially created the most beautiful in you know quotations there and the most popular and iconic piece of art in the entire history of this world. Trust me those quotations are there for a reason so bear with me for another minute or two all right I understand the Mona Lisa is absolutely gorgeous but hey Hey now, there's plenty of other beautiful artworks as well. But yet the point still stands in asking the importance of the Mona Lisa, because as far as I can tell, this honestly barely scratches the surface as opposed to all the other artworks that Da Vinci made during his time as the Renaissance man. I mean, you have to remember that the Renaissance as a time period was a reawakening, a revival of utilizing Greco-Roman architecture, literature, and philosophy, as well as utilizing all artistic elements on top of that. And Leonardo Da Vinci being one of the pioneers of that era, the Mona Lisa just barely holds a candle in terms of other artworks. For example, 1491's The Virgin and the Rocks, as well as the infamous Last Supper, which for those that don't know, fun fact by the way, that was a major plot point in Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code, in case you ever watched that movie. Though I recommend reading the book, the movie didn't really do much justice, but hey, just wanted to throw that fun fact out there. But again, again, the point still stands. Why is it that a lot of people pay so much attention to this particular painting, and why is there such an importance to it in the first place? And the answer to that question is honestly, not many historians are sure. You see, if you scroll through YouTube via recommended or thereafter, or even just doing a quick Google search, you'll realize that every historian is really trying to answer that very question itself and why this painting holds such an important place in world history. Everybody's asking that question you and I are asking right now, and honestly, does that mean there's even an answer in the first place? But the way I see it is because of that constant historical analysis of the Mona Lisa and why we consider it to be more important, it actually allows us to keep searching and digging for answers and keep track of many records of history that were done in the past. In essence, this allows us historians to constantly ask questions and find those answers to those questions and in order to find a common ground or at the very least see the narrative and perspective of the world that was back in the day. So in reality, the answer, or at least my answer, to why the Mona Lisa is so important is that it allows us to learn more about the past and keep asking those questions, as well as figure out ways to learn more about Leonardo da Vinci too. Although whether or not that theory of the Mona Lisa is actually Leonardo da Vinci in disguise wearing female's clothes and it being drawn by his apprentice Francesco Melzi at the time is true or not, I honestly can't really tell you, but hey, it's really not that bad of a theory. Anyways, that is all for today's history lesson here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you all with that next one. And this is your professor signing off.